Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Douse. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to go over uh, the trickier problems that you're going to come across whenever we're talking about angry relationships uh, within parallel lines. Uh, my first video, I covered uh, the congruent angry relationships, and so you might want to watch that video. My second video, I discussed the supplementary angle relationships. And remember, supplementary means two angles that add up to 180 degrees. Uh, and if you can't find them on YouTube, they're going to be this, the same title with part one and part two. You can go to my website, dowshouse.com, and uh, look under the first six weeks worth of videos. And again, they're going to be under the same title here. Uh, so anyways, this video is going to be going over the trickier problems you're going to come across uh, whenever we're talking about parallel lines and angle relationships. This first example says identify the angle relationships, and we're talking about the angle relationships uh, that angle Y and X have uh, in regards to each other. Uh, now keep in mind here, this problem is trickier than what I did on my first two videos, my example problems at the end of my first two videos, because I have three parallel lines in this problem instead of two. On this one, I have three parallel lines and two transversals. And this one, I have three parallel lines and two transversals. And if you're not, if you don't know the tricks to solve these problems, then this can become very tricky. Uh, but I guarantee you uh, that your teacher is probably going to give you something like this on a test or quiz or something like that. And if you can do these problems, then you can do the easier examples, uh, easier problems as well. So, anyways, let's see here. Uh, the trick to this problem is, is you want to draw on the lines that help create each angle. If I look at angle Y, the two lines that help create this angle are this line going around diagonally and this line going across horizontally. These two angle or these two lines help create this angle. And if I look at angle X, angle X was created by this line as well and this line. So both of those lines helped create this angle. And uh, in this case here, uh, you can see that we didn't draw on this line in the middle. So in other words, that line was just there to distract you, and you don't really need to use this line. And so now that I've been able to eliminate one of these parallel lines here, I can now figure out which one of these angle relationships help uh, is, is happening between these two angles, angles X and angle Y. Uh, now keep in mind here, this line is parallel to this line, so I do have my parallel line angle relationship. If I didn't have parallel lines, then you couldn't say any of these angle relationships exist. Uh, but since we do have parallel lines, we can say that one of these angle relationships is going to exist in this case. Uh, now let's look at the clues here. Both of these angles are inside these parallel lines, so the word interior needs to be in uh, the, the angle relationship. And I see interior here, and I see interior here. I see exterior, that would be where uh, the angles are outside the parallel lines. Exterior, the angles would be outside the parallel lines. This doesn't have interior or exterior because corresponding angles have a mixture of interior and exterior angles. And so it's got to be either the alternate interior angles or consecutive interior angles. Now keep in mind, this can also be called same side interior angles. So what else do we have here? We have both of these angles on the same side of the transversal. And same side, this is it right here. Alternate interior angles would be angles on alternate ends. If this X was right here, then this would have been alternate interior angles. But since the X is on the same side of the transversal, the answer for this one is going to be consecutive uh, interior angles. And I could have put same side interior angles here as well, because uh, those mean the same thing. Let me, let me clear all this up here. Um, I'll even get all this 1 and 2 away. And let's move on to the second problem we have. If I look at the second problem, uh, again, we're focusing on uh, angle X and Y here. Uh, angle X is using this line and this line. That helps create angle X. Angle Y is using this line as well and this line. And so those two lines helped create angle X. These two angles look to be equal to me. And look, I mean, they look equal. This is acute and this is acute. Remember, if you have parallel lines, if the angles look the same, they are going to be the same. And so since these are both congruent to each other, it's pretty safe to say that it's not going to be the supplementary angle relationships. Unless the angles are 90 degrees, that's the only time they look the same. That's the only time you could use these uh, as potentially being the answer to this problem here. Um, but I'll discuss this in more detail as well. Now, if we look, we have these two lines are parallel to each other. And so we can say it's going to be one of these angle relationships. Now, if I look here, this angle X is inside the parallel lines. This angle Y is outside the parallel lines. So if there was both inside, it would have been interior. But since it's not, it can't be the interior. 
If both of these were outside the parallel lines, it would have said exterior, but they're not both outside the parallel lines. And so that leaves me just with corresponding. Remember, if I look at corresponding angles, if I look at the intersection of the lines, corresponding angles are uh, angles that are going to be in the same location of that intersection. X is on the top right corner of this intersection. Y is on the top right corner of this intersection. So these two angles are corresponding to each other. So this is a corresponding angle relationship. The last example I'm going to do here uh, is, is going to be, ooh, we have three parallel lines and two transversals, um, just like this last problem. Uh, remember the trick here, you want to draw on the lines that are help creating the angles. Oh my goodness, I'm getting off, I'm getting off there, sorry. It's hard for me to draw sometimes on this thing. Uh, and so Y is, is using this line here and this line right here. That helps create angle Y. Angle X is also using this line and this line right here. That's helping create angle X. This angle is obtuse, this angle is obtuse, so these two angles are going to be congruent to each other. And so that's leading me to believe that my answer is probably going to be uh, one of these congruent angle relationships. But let's look at the context clues that we have here. If we look here, this line is parallel to this line right here. Angle Y is outside the parallel lines, as well as angle X is outside the parallel lines. So this is going to be exterior. The word exterior should be in my answer. Now, let's see here. So I've eliminated this guy, this one, and this one. So alternate exterior angles, uh, angles are on the opposite side of the transversal. Consecutive exterior angles are angles on the same side of the transversal. This line is the transversal because it's crossing two lines. Uh, it's actually crossing more than that, but it is the transversal here. And so angle Y and angle X are on opposite sides of the transversal. And opposite, in this case, is going to be alternate. Uh, it's not on the same side. Angle X is not over here. It's not there, so it's not the same side. It's on the opposite side of the transversal. So this is going to be an alternate exterior angle uh, example here. So anyways, hopefully this helps you understand uh, how to do the trickier problems whenever we're, we're talking about the angle relationships in regards to parallel lines. Uh, and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.